The 2016 Honda CRF450R isn't much different than the 2015 Honda CRF, but sometimes in the world of motocross, little tweaks to a motocross machine result in big changes out on the track. Honda's changes for 2016 focus on improved stability and providing overall better balance. The KYB air fork legs are now 5mm longer and this is done by increasing the length of the sliders. By adding some length to the fork it minutely increases the bike's wheelbase so a little more weight on the back half of the machine, theoretically increasing stability. The knuckle and pull rods of the shock linkage have also been changed to work in conjunction with the longer front fork and improve rear wheel traction. The fork and shock also receive some revisions to the internal settings to go along with the outer changes. The damping adjusters on the shock and fork now use 8 clicks per rotation instead of 4, giving the rider the ability to fine tune suspension settings even further. So one click of compression or rebound change is only half the amount of adjustment as before. The chain roller diameter decreased from 38mm to 34mm and Honda tells us this is to allow the swing arm to travel farther before the chain contact with the roller restricts movement, thus improving overall traction. Without any changes to the engine, the 2016 Honda CRF450R power feels just like it did for 2015. At Paula Raceway, the 2016 Honda CRF450R hooked up very well, providing great forward bite and consistent rear wheel feel to the ground. A huge part of Honda's ability to drive forward is its smooth power, which some wrongly perceive as lack of power. Honda makes it very easy to change the 450's Honda power characteristic via the map switch on the right hand side of the Renthal handlebars. It allows the rider to switch between three engine power maps on the fly while riding, as long as the bike is idling. After our day with the 2016 Honda CRF 450R at Paula Raceway, we feel the subtle suspension changes Honda made improve overall balance and feel. Straight line stability is slightly improved, and the great cornering ability Honda is known for hasn't gone anywhere. We played with the Honda steering damper a little, dialing in a few clicks for further improvements in overall stability. We will learn a lot more about the 2016 changes as we move towards shootout and log many more hours testing on the new 450 Honda.